is my 24 hour refeed today. And um, I got my raw eggs. I got my grass fed butter. And I got my lamb liver that I got from the butcher shop. Okay? So it's a whole lamb liver. I'll show you guys what it looks like up close. It smells really good. I love liver. I'm gonna eat it raw today. Fuck, it's bleeding a bit, but actually what I'll do. So if you can see it, okay, it smells really good. Now, for people that think that you can't get in vitamin C eating strict zero carb, zero fiber, carnivore refeed routine, this isn't the carnivore fucking diet. I fast every fucking day, minimum 24 hours when you're ripped. Okay, this is full of fucking vitamin C. Okay, go do your research on fucking liver in general. It's crazy nutritious. Now I'm gonna start. Uh, so this meal is uh, definitely I'm still at a caloric deficit on this meal. Like I'll eat this meal, I'll train tonight, and I will lose weight, and I will be lighter tomorrow, guaranteed. Because if you do the math on this one, I think I'm only running maybe, depends how much of that butter I eat, maybe like 2,000 calories. For me, eating zero carb, that's definitely a deficit on a training day. You fat asses don't need to fucking eat. Okay? This is for people that want to learn about fucking the zero carb, zero fiber refeed. I more do this just to get people so they're not fucking scared. Scared of eating raw meat. Fuck. It won't hurt you. Just get good fucking sources. Do your fucking research. Okay? Go learn shit. And raw eggs, man, if you can't drink raw eggs, you're a fucking pussy. Fuck, raw eggs are easy to fucking eat. It don't taste any different, it's just in your fucking head because of your, all your fucking conditioning from the past. Everything's in your goddamn head. It's like, oh, salmonella, fuck, shut the fuck up. If you got a healthy stomach, you're fucking, you'll never fucking get sick from salmonella. Your fucking stomach will just fucking kill it. If your stomach's healthy, your stomach will just fucking kill it. That's what it does. That's what we're meant to do. We're fucking scavengers. These eggs. I don't know, but I think I got fucked on these eggs. Because usually they're way, way more orange. That's the thing about eggs. Like they could just put cheap eggs in an expensive fucking container and say that they're fucking free range if you get them at the grocery store. That's why your best bet is to still get eggs at a fucking butcher shop or, or a farmer's market or something. Even the farmers are rip off artists, so. Okay, you gotta trust them. You gotta know what you're getting. You can see it in people's personalities a lot, too. You gotta read people. You can tell if people are honest or full of shit. So I haven't drank any fluid since last night. Also, for all the fucking experts, all the fucking carnivore fucking eating routine experts out there, you need your fucking salt, idiots. Fuck, I fucking didn't take any snake juice just for an experiment for about three days. I am eating at a deficit, and I was eating a bunch of raw steak, same shit, eggs, butter, and I got low on salt, I could feel it, and last night I pounded back a fucking glass of snake juice and I felt like a million bucks. I still felt good, I was a little low on salt, but I was low on energy. As soon as I drank that snake juice, I went to the gym and I had energy out the fucking ass, okay? Fucking salt. There's not near enough fucking sodium in this fucking meat. Not even close. You can feel it right away. And that's where pe and people, if they're cutting back on the snake juice, you might feel good for like one day, 
Okay, I'm talking people that are lean as fuck and they're down fucking around with like maintenance fasting routines, meal a day, 48s. They can get away with a little less snake juice if they salt the fuck out of their food. But people, obviously, it's fucking not rocket science. Why do you think I got people fasting for fucking days and weeks on end on salt? Because if you did it on fresh water, you'd feel like shit. Okay? I know this because I've done this. How do you think I figured that salt out in the first place? I fucking made it 72 hours, went to the gym, had no fucking energy when I was still doing plain water fasting back in the day. Fuck yeah. This liver is fucking gold. It's so rich. I love this shit. Yeah, this is lamb. So originally, if you want to hear a little bit of the story how I fucking started getting it, like when I first started learning about zero carb carnivore, it was from a guy named Rustic Johnson. This is about a year ago because I had another guy I was coaching that did Ironman triathlons and he's actually the guy that brought me to the attention of Rustic Johnson and this Rustic Johnson basically cured his MS with prolonged fasting and eating lamb. And not just lamb, he'd buy three lambs, he'd buy three lambs a month and eat the whole fucking animal. And recently, Rustic Johnson actually got a hold of me, which is interesting, cause guess what? He wasn't fucking taking salt for a long time and then as soon as he found out about me, he started knocking back salt. Then he felt better. Okay, you need your fucking goddamn salt. Now liver, you know, from the grocery store. Obviously, it's cleaning a lot of more shit out of the animal. You know, this stuff, this is clean. This is fucking like organic fucking top-notch liver that I got. It's definitely leaner than my regular steak that I eat, but... That's okay, because I'm on a bit of a cut anyway. You need to get your fucking fat in when you're eating like this. Like I said in my video, the reason I like to eat the meat raw is because I feel nice and light. Bowel movements are perfect. Okay, you can take your risk with cooked meat. Okay, if your bowel movements are good, you're getting enough fat, you'll be fine. But... I feel better on raw. Like this liver, you gotta go look up the nutrition. It's insane what, what's in liver, okay? Another thing too, the other day when I ate that raw bacon, back to the salts, I felt like a million bucks on that good salt load. And then the next day I felt really good still because there's a lot of salt. Next day after that, started feeling weak. And I was experimenting cutting the snake juice. Because a lot of these fucking guys are trying to say that these fucking meats got all the fucking salt you need in them. Bullshit. Bull fucking shit. You do not feel as good if you are fucking training as hard as I do. Not even fucking close. Good butter. This is like candy to me now. It's fucking butter. Liver is definitely rich. If it's a good one, you can taste it. It's fucking got minerals that are like crazy. Gives you energy. Like I got fucking energy already eating this. My mom used to blend up liver 
in a blender and feed it to me when I was like a year old. Honestly, if you were eating a crazy hardcore carnivore routine, you could get away with eating basically only liver. Maybe buy some fucking beef fat to get your fats in if you wanted to cut dairy and chop the butter. Butter's good. You know, some people try chopping dairy. A lot of people on a carnivore diet will make up fat with butter. I hate saying the word carnivore diet because everyone forgets about the fucking fasting aspect. Fasting first, fat ass. Fuck, it's, it's rich. It's rich, rich, rich. It's extremely satiating, this liver. Extreme. And obviously it's not fatty, but it's fucking rich. You know that your body... You're getting so many minerals from it that it's like just covering everything. So it's like, your body's like, oh, I have everything. You know, not like when you're a fucking vegan and you eat like, you know, five tons of fucking fruit and vegetables and you're still hungry because you're missing something. It's not rocket science. Fuck. Like liver is so nutritious that a hundred grams of liver covers like a lot of your daily vitamin needs a hundred percent and two hundred percent, like just from a hundred grams. Like iron's crazy high, obviously. All the B vitamins, all of it. Fuck, it's fucking crazy good for you, this shit. And you can taste, you can taste that it is. You know, like you do not need much of this. And the funny part is, it's actually cheap to buy. Nobody fucking eats it anymore. Fuck, I'm fucking full. I'm fuller after eating that than I was eating that kilo of bacon. It's so rich in fucking vitamins. It's just, it's rich. It's extremely rich. It is a fucking, yeah, like that's, that's a, that's a superfood, motherfuckers. That is a superfood. So what was my, my eating window there? What, I ate all that in like fucking 20 minutes, 30 minutes? Won't eat again till tomorrow, about the same time. That's what you get, that's, that's the, once you lose all the fucking fat, you know, bust that fat gut off yourself with all the fasting, then you can experiment with shit. There we go. So there, six raw eggs, about 600 grams of liver, maybe 50 grams of butter is my refeed today. Go do some training tonight. See how I feel. Make sure you get your fucking salts in. You'll get fucking low on them and you'll be wondering why. You know, even yesterday when I had my steak, it was raw. I just put a little bit of pink salt on it. You know, there's a reason why Gandhi marched fucking 250 miles of the fucking ocean to get the fucking salt. Not just because he was having a good time, because they needed the fucking salt. Fuck, people are idiots when it comes to salt. You need salt. Okay? Fuck. So everyone have a great day. Once you're fucking ripped, follow my fucking snake diet weight loss flow chart. Once you're fucking ripped, experiment with different fasting and fucking refeed routines. Stop fucking eating, fatty!